I've built quite a lot of skateboard projects in the past, mostly electric powered with varying amounts of wheels between 4 and 5. Skateboarding's quite easy though, you just lean to steer and the trucks which hold the wheels steer in opposite directions so it drives in a curve. I recently discovered freeline skating or free skating. These are skates which each look like a little skateboard. They have two wheels each but they aren't attached to your feet like rollerblades or roller skates, so you just stand on them. So I got some free skates off Amazon, they're pretty cheap ones, but you know, they've got wheels that go around and stuff. I've never actually tried it before, I looked at a few videos on YouTube of what to do, so um, let's give it a go and see what happens. So of course leaning side to side does nothing because the wheels are fixed, so to steer you actually have to move your feet. There's grip tape on the top to apply friction, and you basically move your feet in or out to steer in either direction. That's pretty tricky though, which is why I'm hanging onto a car in this shot. To get started you put your toes down and then you push off with one foot, and you're not supposed to leave the other skate behind, but I actually can't do that, I found that very difficult indeed. I tried pushing off on the car, and that's slightly better. I can get um, maybe two or three feet, but the skateboarder in me wants to lean, and of course that does nothing. It's really hard to get used to moving your feet to actually steer, and of course the wheels are quite grippy on the surface there, so you need quite a lot of force. I thought I'd try going down a hill to start, in case leaning on the car was throwing me off, but basically that's not really much easier. I'm pretty sure I can't do this, at least not with, you know, just getting some skates and trying. You probably need, I don't know, weeks of practice or something. But then I found out there's this thing called Rip Skate, which is like a ripstick that has casters, but it skates with casters. Each skate's got two casters. So that looks pretty tricky. So how am I going to better that? Yes, it's one caster. You can't buy skates with one caster each though, so I'm going to make them, so it's time to get the CNC out and make some wooden platforms. Basically they're just squares of wood with corners on and some screw holes so we can mount the casters. I drilled holes for the casters in them and we're going to mount the casters on 3D printed blocks at 30 degrees, which is the same as rip skates or rip sticks. The caster doesn't quite fit though due to that brake thing that's on them, so I'm just cutting that off with an angle grinder so that when we put our caster in place, then it rotates freely all the way round. I made a pair of those, so let's see how dangerous they are. Well, trying to get my foot on them at all is actually pretty much impossible due to the fact that there's one pivot point with the ground where that caster is, and even though that caster points in the right direction all the time due to the 30 degree slope, it's actually very difficult to even get it upright without it slipping out one way or the other, or front or back. As the board leans in one direction, the caster points in the other direction, which when you're stationary makes it really difficult to get on because it just makes it slip in the direction you're leaning. So I think we need some way of restricting that caster to start with to see if I can actually stand on them. So I made some 3D printed blocks and those fit either side of the caster and just screw into the wood so that holds the caster in the middle and stops it moving all around, and we'll do that to start with. So it seems initially that it should be more stable without having that caster swiveling all around, but still trying to put my foot on it and get my mass over the pivot point with the ground is still practically impossible because it just spins all over the place and gets pushed out from under my foot. However, you can balance on single points like these stilts, so obviously if I keep moving then uh, walking on stilts isn't too hard once you get the hang of it. But obviously I've got these long poles attached from my hands to my feet which hold the platforms I'm standing on horizontal, and of course hold the sticks upright basically, so the thing doesn't squish around under my feet like the wheels. So what if I just attach long poles to my stilts? So I 3D printed some blocks which are just going to screw onto the wooden board, and they've got a space in there for a piece of 2020 extrusion. And that means that we can insert that extrusion and we've got a long handle essentially which goes right up. So now with that handle attached, I can in fact get my mass over the pivot point with the ground where the caster is, and I can just about stand on there. I'm not taking steps like I am with stilt, so eventually I overbalance, even though I'm actually holding onto the kitchen surface with one hand there to try and stabilise myself. I don't really want to be holding onto those poles with my hands though, so I'm printing some extra pieces which are kind of scoop shapes. And those actually fit onto the 2020, so I've got somewhere that I can strap my leg to. So at the top we've got a strap through that block which is going to fit onto my shin, and then at the bottom we've got a foot strap and a little wedge to hold my foot at the right angle. But before we see if I can balance on those, it's time for a quick ad from the video's sponsor, which is Real VNC, who've launched a global competition to celebrate the creativeness of the Raspberry Pi community. Now, they're not trying to sell anything right now, in fact, they're giving something away, so keep listening. Real VNC Connect is the remote access software that ships with Raspberry Pi base operating system, and it's free for non-commercial use. 
Real VNC was invented by the founders of the first widely used remote access software. The competition is for the most innovative use of Raspberry Pi and Real VNC Connect. It's free to enter and open to anyone of any age. You can submit anything innovative you've developed in the last five years as long as it's not currently in commercial use. First prize is $1,000, second prize is $500, and the third prize is $250. Also, the first 100 people to enter will get a free competition t-shirt and laptop sticker which says Certified Innovator on them, and these are totally free with free shipping, as long as you send in a genuine good faith entry, so no silly entries just to get the free stuff, please. Entries will be judged on innovation, originality, design quality, impact, and of course the use of real VNC Connect remote access software, and I'm going to be one of the judges. Competition entries close on the 4th of September, so check out the link in the video description to this video. Right, let's see if I can balance on these funny skates. So let's strap my foot in there. My foot just goes under that ratchet strap, which is one of the ones off Rollerblades with a ratchet to tighten it up, and obviously Velcro goes around my shin. And of course I've made two of those as well. So I can just about balance on these. A bit like the stilts, I'm not doing too bad. The main problem is I can't get my feet close enough together due to the big blah, bits of wood attached there. So I think I need to cut some off because otherwise my feet want to go outwards because I can't get on top of the uh, on top of the wheel basically. But apart from that, that doesn't feel too bad on the whole. At least I can uh, balance without having to move, which is good. The wheels are also a bit rubbish and they make a funny sound. Weirdly, the hubs stay still and there's some sort of bearing or something with the outer wheel. So I'm replacing those with inline skate wheels. And those are much freer moving and much more shock absorbent as well. And as those wheels are much freer moving, and I'm no longer on carpet and I'm on a hard surface, they're actually, well, much freer moving, which makes it much harder to stand up. Obviously, with free skates with two wheels on each one, at least they kind of hold the platform horizontal and you can keep your feet on them. Uh, this is a bit ridiculous, actually. But eventually I managed to get my mass over the pivot point and pull my legs together. So, obviously, pushing off, though, um, not very successful. It's actually much harder, it feels, than the free skates, because my legs just go apart due to that pivot point instead of having the two wheels. And also, I can't walk in them at all, and I'm attached to them, so I have to kind of crawl along the ground to get back to where I started. But nonetheless, I had a few goes, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Thumbs down. So I was going to scrap the video at this point because it seems really hard, but then I remembered the rip skates and rip sticks have casters for a reason, so I decided to take my restricting blocks off and see what happens. Having failed loads on free skates and with the casters locked, it seemed like this was going to be much more sketchy. Eventually, you can get the casters to point in the right direction due to the 30 degree block. But actually, when I eventually managed to push off, this was much, 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 much easier. I didn't put the camera back far enough because I didn't think I was going to get this far, but you can see in the reflection of the windows, I still keep going even though I'm out of shot, until I run out of velocity, of course, and then I fall over. I'm not even consciously trying to steer here, but the casters just seem to follow, and it just naturally balances you and keeps you upright. Till you run out of velocity, of course. So it looks like the thing that should make it harder, these caster wheels, actually makes it much, 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 much easier. So I think what's happening compared to the normal free skates is that basically the thing this fixes is your legs going in different directions, because as soon as these start to go off, you've got to apply a lot of friction to turn them against the ground to steer them back together again, whereas the casters just follow each other naturally. The other thing I think is happening here is as this slides one way, the caster points the other way, and now it's driving this way, so then that ends up pushing it in the direction it's travelling, pushing it upright again. So this is a bit like a Segway or a hoverboard or a balancing robot driving in the direction that it's falling so that it catches itself. Only with the skates with casters, it's sort of a passive dynamic system. So pleasantly surprised these are actually pretty easy to skate on with a single caster. The two things we need to fix though are of course stopping and starting so I don't have to crawl along the ground on my knees and probably some form of propulsion to push these along so I can keep going and I don't just fall over and lose velocity. 
So I've 3D printed some more parts which are going to mount on the stick on each of those skates. Thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project, everything is printed in Pro PLA+. Do you remember when the hacksmith fell off a longboard being pushed along by EDFs? He was going pretty quick. I'm supposed to be able to push off with these toe blocks on one, but I just can't do that. I'm not even showing you the footage of me falling over. I can really only do it when I push off with both hands off the car. For a little bit, it's really scary. Then as soon as I hit the throttle, it's like automatic mode. But yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, and there's absolutely no way I can steer, really. I can just about decide which way I'm going, but there's no way I can make turns. Maybe if I could free skate, I'd know what to do, but this kind of automatically makes me go in a straight line. 